There's no... There's no settings. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Open gamer controller. Uh, hey Dakitsu, how you doing? Uh, I tried fearing hunger and then I rage quit. Um, this game contains the following content, uh, following content warnings. Blood. Injury detail. Threatening behavior. Your mom. Cannibalism. Medication and medical equipment. Syringes, scalpels, yep. What? No way. Yeah, I didn't know what exactly I was supposed to do, and then I died to, like, two things, and that was just like, nah. <laughs> uh, for better experience, uh, wearing head or earphones, yes, okay. Shut up. Keys. Where the hell did I put the damn keys? With things technically like okay. what difficult we played uh the fear and hunger one which i'm not sure if there's any like story changes to that but like i couldn't be asked to find out you could have sworn you picked them up a minute ago come on keys where are you this is just your luck first it was uh first it was the anxiety uh, dreams last night about spelling your name wrong on the application forms and now you're going to end up arriving late for the interview because you've lost your damn keys calm down it's all going to be okay you know you spelled your last name correctly it's your first name you're worried about you're 99% sure you put it down as oh I guess uh I'll just yeah. Yeah, I'm certain that's what I typed. So no need to panic, right? I mean, if you if you manage to spell that wrong, you got a problem. <laughs> I just gotta find my keys, and then ah, there you are, you little devils. Okay, you can do this. Time to go. The moment you exit your apartment. Autumn's fully, uh, Autumn's playful chill caresses your cheeks, beckoning you, uh, forward into the night. As you step with purpose to a soundtrack of shrieks and laughter, you begin to wonder why you're even, why you even agreed to an interview on Halloween. Everyone else out here is having such a fun time while you're growing more and more nauseous with every main with every street you pass maybe i should have saved this game for uh, for halloween i get it's october but it's not halloween just yet yes yeah, in like five days well i'm gonna need another halloween game uh i don't know i'll find out <laughs> that'll be my problem when it'll be my problem um Everyone else is out here having such a fun time while you're growing more and more nauseous with every street that you pass. What you, what you, what you would give to be dressed up and messing around right now. But no, you need to focus. This job is important. If you can ace this, you won't have to worry about rent ever again. Your parents would be so proud to see you working at a posh antiques uh, appraiser. Plus, the pay is pretty generous. The fuck chap keeps not sending sending messages. Yeah, I, I don't see any even like even help for review. So yeah, I don't know what what is up with that. Rounding the corner, you glance at your phone, cautiously checking your. Uh, you're heading in the right direction. Upon arriving at your destination, you're faced with a familiar sign, though you've only s ever seen it in images online before. The, pre the prestigious Aurora Antiques looms, uh, looms large above you, and taking a deep breath in, you push gingerly on the gates, only to be met by a resistance. Huh? That's strange, it won't open. Uh, I'm guessing I talked to this. What's this? 
Aurora Antiques is closed for the day. Applicants, please use the back entrance. <laughs> Mumbling the words aloud to yourself. Oh, I said them like fully out loud. Uh, you take a step back, feeling slightly silly for not having seen this notice before. Or first. I don't know. I can't fucking read. The back entrance seems somewhat less polished and professional other than uh, other than the front. Uh, a fling, a faint glowing light emanating from within. Well, here goes nothing. Pressing down on the handle with less enthusiasm this time, you feel the weight of the door creaking open in front of you as you anxi anxiously step inside. I need to go make coffee. Hello? You call out, hoping to be met uh, by your prospective employer. Only silence greets you instead, further fueling your uh, trepidation. I really hope this isn't some sort of sick Halloween prank. What even is this place anyway? It looks nothing like the pristine reception area at the front of the building. The more you peek around, the stranger it all seems. As though you're in, uh, as though you're intruding on someone's private collection of bizarre antiques. Oh, antiquities. Uh, what, uh, what use could this store possibly have for all this junk? Eyes darting from object to particular, to peculiar object. Oh my god, I need to get my eyes checked. Uh, you catch a glimpse of a human outline in a darkened room just beyond where you're standing. Um, I'm here for the job interview. I don't see no figure. Where is the figure? Still no response. Taking a gulp of stale air, you force yourself forward to investigate. Treading with caution, you step into the dingy blackness, allowing it to engulf you entirely. Guided only by the faint shafts of dust, of, of dust speckled light glistening from an old lamp. Arms, uh, arms outstretched and fumbling, you eventually confront a collection of what appear to be uh, disused mannequins, littering and otherwise em uh, littering the otherwise empty space, standing guard. Their faceless features, as void as your life, as as void of life as their surroundings. Mike, let me try to go make coffee. One in particular captures your gaze. You feel an inexplicable an inexplicable connection with this melancholy mannequin. Its haunting presence drawing you closer and now it just magically grows a face wow huh what did that say huh <laughs> i said can i help you <laughs> i literally called it as it happened that's a new record even for me uh um no well i mean yes i wait are you blind <laughs> Among other things, I doubt I'll even see out the rest of the year. Why do you think I need assistance here at the store? Right, of course, sorry. I don't remember this in Stillwater. Uh, don't remember what? Uh, no, this is not- wait, no, no. Oh, oh, I, I forgot they're currently playing, yeah. It's because I- I forget that's there sometimes. Um... What was this game called? Dawn of the Damned, okay. Wait. Uh, I don't know why YouTube doesn't want me to send messages. Uh... I don't know, send them on Discord or something. <laughs> right, of course, sorry. You seem a little shaken, dear. Get us do good. Uh, I'm fine. I just, I was inspecting this mannequin and I thought I saw something. But I guess not. Oh, these old relics. 
They're just regular mannequins, nothing to be frightened of. As the store's custodian, it's my duty to ensure all of our antiques are cared for appropriately. I love her accent, goddamn. It's like such an ASMR-like voice. Right, but... I know even the most mundane of objects seem spookier on a night like tonight, but you mustn't allow superstition to influence your rationale. Besides, when you work here long enough, you get used to seeing so many blank faces. <laughs> it's rare for any of our customers to take interest in these poor things. Though, I'm sure a prospective candidate such as yourself is already well aware of that. I know, it's just... It seemed so afraid. Almost as though it was alive. I'm sure that's just your mind playing tricks on you in the dark, dear. Though, any object can be given life by its owner. And every doll has a story. God, I want to turn up the volume just to... Just, uh, just so I have the... Hmm. That one, in particular, was donated to us from a private collection. <laughs> Quite the beauty, isn't she? If you're interested, I can tell you her tale. God damn, this is what true ASMR feels like. <laughs> Are you sure you have the time? <laughs> oh, time is all I have, dear. Now, make yourself comfortable and I'll fetch you something sweet to drink. Shuffling off, your perspective, uh, your prospective new boss hastily pours you, uh, pours you each a cup of tea before returning with surprising, uh, alacrity. There you go. <laughs> Have a seat, my dear. <clears throat> it all started with a selfish wish. I'll etch your name upon my heart. So you'll always be my lover. And if we're ever torn apart, I'll restore you with another. Are you sure it'll work? Oh, I'm quite certain. Flash and lights warning. <laughs> yeah, this could this can be really Oh okay. I think it stopped. Alright. As you put the stamp the time stops on the Discord. Yeah, I should put them in the community post as well. Uh I just didn't have the time because I saw it got rated. <laughs> I saw it go ready. I was like, wait, what happened? Wait, hold on. That went from no one to like everyone uh, in like a second. What a strange dream. Uh, waking in the days to unfamiliar surroundings, I rub my eyes repeatedly. Taking in the dining room. Where am I? If this is my bedroom, why don't I recognize anything? And if this is my- if, and if this is- isn't my bedroom, what am I doing here? 22 away from 500? Yeah, finally. <laughs> I was stuck in like one spot for like a month. <laughs> no, not a month, but like two weeks. Oh well. I suppose I won't get any answers if I just sit here. I might as well have a look around. Um, can I... Okay. Um... I can only interact with a bed and a lamp. Let's get some light in here. Oh, okay. That's better. Now I can actually see properly. I think I can see less now. <laughs> I think now it's like in the way. 
I'm pretty tired, but I can't just go back to bed. Hmm. This looks expensive. I'll watch the fear and hunger part. Be right back. All right. Shit. Before I get a chance to do anything else, I hear hurried footsteps approaching, coming to an abrupt halt right outside the door. I should... Defend myself. Grabbing an ornament, uh, I ready myself to attack whoever enters. Whoever enters. Arms raised above my head in adrenaline. In adrenaline-fueled anticipation. Before the figure, Ugh. before the figure can make a move, I lunge, striking out at him with my improvised weapon. W what are you doing? You could have killed me. Damn, he's fast. Looks like I missed, but maybe that's for the best. This stranger doesn't seem to want to cause me any harm, unless he plans on feeding me. Uh, unless he plans on feeding me to death with that tray of delicious looking food. Maybe he's a butler. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but this kind of behavior has to stop. I'm just trying to help you, Morgan. Morgan? Is that my name? I mean, yeah, that looks like the first part of the name. Placing down my weapon sheepishly, I stare at the stranger who seems to know more about me than I do. Here, you should eat. It'll make you feel much better. Are you my doctor? Something like that. Now eat before it goes cold like last time. I swear Morgan's mic sounds... Last time? Yeah, her mic sounds different. Never mind. I'm too tired to explain it all again to you today. You please just eat. Like his one sounds normal. Her she Morgan sounds like she like had like her own mic like at home. And she just recorded with that. Sensing his wariness. Uh sensing his wariness is genuine and feeling an uncomfortable rumbling in my stomach. I do as I'm told and begin tucking into the dish. Now I'm hungry. God, I want some pasta. Oh, my Italian instincts. They're calling. <laughs> How is it? Sitting back to examine my reaction, my downcast compa uh, companion seems anxious. In truth, it's quite spicy, though not offensively so, but something about each mouthful feels familiar, as it... Uh, as it coats my tongue, searing my throat as I swallow. That's what um, she said. It's great. Thank you. Delicious. That sounded so sarcastic. <sighs> Releasing what appears to be a long-held sigh of relief, the fatigued figure opposite me smiles for the first time since entering the room. Good. That's good. Well, as always... I hate to leave you alone when you're feeling so unwell, but I really don't have much choice. Fortunately, it would appear there truly is no rest for the wicked. With a self-deprecating grimace, he hauls himself up. Wait, I don't even know your name. It's Demerol, but you usually just call me Deme. Now, eat up and regain your strength. I won't lock you in this time, but it's probably best you don't go wandering too far. With your memory in the state that it is, you might end up getting lost. I'll come see you again when I can. And just like that, the doctor leaves me alone to finish my meal in disquieting silence. I take my time with the carefully prepared dish. Not to savor the taste, but to prolong the thought of leaving this room. As long as one more mouthful remains, I don't have to confront any of this. As long as one more mouthful remains, I'll be okay. Maybe I should order food. How much money do I have? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Oh god, I'm running low. Oh god, I'm running so low. Oh no. Uh, never mind. I guess I, I guess I'll starve. 
God damn it, game. Why do you do this to me? The gentle pitter-patter of rain soon turns into a torrent outside the window. It's funny that I can remember what rain is, but not what it feels like. Have I ever felt it before? Have I lived my entire life in this house? Or worse, in this one room? I guess I'll have to ask the doctor when I next see him. He seems so exhausted. I hope I haven't caused him too much trouble. The last thing I want is to be a liability. Inevitably swallowing the final mouthful of food. I almost, I thought that said blood for a second. I turn my gaze to the door, now ajar. I suppose I should probably take a look outside the room at least. What was that? Retreating back inside the room, I cling uh, to the door in fear, peering out into the hallway. What if someone's in trouble? If this is some kind of hospital, there must be other patients. I should... Follow the sound, explore elsewhere. Um, follow the sound, sure. As foolish as it may seem, something urges me to leave the uh, safety of my room in pursuit of the scream's origin. I don't know if I'll be of any help, but the thought of doing nothing makes me feel too uneasy. Traversing the corridor, I begin to hope that another doctor might reach the person in distress before me. Uh, I know Deme said not to wander too far, so I try my best to remember the route my feet are taking me. Wait, hold on, I just realized there's a config button here. Well, never mind. God oh, damn it. Upon reaching a split in the corridor, I'm utterly clueless as to which way to go. And I can no longer hear any sense of trouble. I should... Uh, go left, go right, uh, left is always wrong. I suppose it doesn't matter which way I, I, I head when I don't know where anything is. With any luck, I might be able to start building a mental map of this place. The further I wander, the more overwhelmed I feel, uh, I begin to feel. The doctor wasn't kidding. This place is huge. It seems as though every corridor contains a dozen rooms, and and that each hallway stretches out for eternity. Not wanting to walk anymore for fear of becoming uh, truly disoriented, I instead decide to enter one of the side rooms. It's so dark, there must be a switch somewhere. Fumbling around for a light source, I gasp in a mixture of surprise and confusion at the sight that greets me once the contents are revealed. Uh... What is this? It's a room. I don't... I don't see anything. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Inching closer, I kneel down to inspect the peculiar objects littering the floor of the room. I thought I told you not to stray too far. D Doctor, I didn't mean to. I. What are all these? You wouldn't understand. But. I'm sorry, Morgan. You weren't supposed to see this. Is he gonna kill me? <laughs> Where am I? Awakening with a jolt, I find myself faced with a hot meal in front of me and no idea how it got there. Fragments of memories float in and out of my mind's eye. Never long enough for me to grasp them. Oh, good. You're awake. You should hurry up and eat before it gets cold. 
I... I think I know this person. D Demeron? What did you just say? F forgive me. I thought that was your name for some reason. But I must be mistaking you for someone else. No, you were correct. I'm just surprised you remembered. Can you recall anything else? I... don't think so. Is he the reason why... Oh, wait, that dress. That's the mannequin we saw earlier. Not to worry. These things take time. Please, tuck in. Are you not going to eat anything? I only just ate recently, so I'm not hungry. Don't let me stop you, though. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> He's so making me hungry. I don't have any food on me. Staring at the freshly prepared food, the rising steam uh, hits my nostrils and I realize just how hungry I am as I begin greedily forking mouthful after mouthful from the dish. Yeah, I'm hungry as well. Pausing to regain my composure, I realize the doctor is studying me intensely. Am I making you uncomfortable? A little, but I suppose it would be impolite to say as such. No, I was just taking a bit of a break. Well... Don't wait too long. You need to finish every last bite if you're going to regain your strength. And it's already late. So you should be heading to your room for some rest as soon as possible. Right. I feel like the line could have been delivered a little bit better. Two days to do anything else. I remain compliant, finishing my meal without another word. The moment I put down the fork, the doctor rises from his seat. Moving to stand over my shoulder. There are still a few drops left. What does he want? What does he want me to? Wait, what does he want me to do? Like the plate? It's important you eat everything. God damn. I guess that's a yes then. Uh, raising the plate to my lips, I begin licking it softly. Uh, lapping up the last of the juices until the plate appears clean. Good job. Now let's get you to bed. What about washing the dishes? Don't worry. I'll deal with that later. Come. Beckoning me to follow, the doctor holds out his hand, uh, and I grasp it gently. The pair of us set off down the hallway in silence, me gazing in awe at every detail in the decorations and ornaments littered throughout our short journey. Wherever this place is, it looks huge. Leading me into a room that seems somewhat familiar, the doctor releases my hand to begin preparing something on the table. Um, what is all that? It's your medication, Morgan. And it's very important that you take all of it, okay? Okay. Now, I have a few things I need to sort out, and you need your beauty sleep. Can I trust you to take these by yourself? Um, no. Why wouldn't he be able to trust me? Uh, yes. Very well. I suppose I'll see you later then. Grazing me with a gentle kiss on the forehead, the doctor leaves me to my own to my own devices. I forgot to ask him what this medication actually does. I guess it must be a mixture of sleeping pills or something. I should. I feel like these choices actually matter for something. Take the pills, let's see what happens. I suppose I should just do as I'm told. He is a doctor after all, so he must know what's best for me. I don't trust this guy. Unquestioningly, I take the pills in, uh, in one hand and the glass of water in the other, swallowing the lot in one gulp before throwing myself down onto bed. It's not long before I'm fast asleep. So, what are you gonna do about it? Have you come up with a plan or anything? Kind of. 
And what's that supposed to mean, exactly? And this is it. Yeah, you're gonna have to do better than that, because I fail to see how a hike in the woods is gonna clear your family's debt, Demma. Have you lost your marbles or something? Nope. Trust me, you'll see. <sighs> I'm probably not going to like this, am I? Knowing you, probably not. Can you at least give me a hint? <sighs> Fine. You know the tales of Valdleute, right? I don't know how to say that, even after I heard it. Uh, yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? Please tell me you didn't drag me out here to ask some stupid mythical creature to solve all of your problems. God damn, she is a bitch. They're not stupid. And they're not just myths either. The Vaudleute are real. My grandpa met one when he was a kid. Uh-huh. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't you think you'd be better off putting aside your scholarship and getting a job or something? Don't get me wrong, I'd love a miracle to come along and help you out, but I'm just trying to be realistic here. Um, we're here. Uh. Huh? Where? We've been walking for five hours just to reach some random clearing? Who dares trespass upon my domain? Leave now if you value your lives. Hmm. Unless you have a gift for me. In which case, hand it over and scram, vermin. Actually, I do have a gift for you, oh mighty Valloita. Demme, what are you doing? Don't speak to it. 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 <laughs> I do have a name, you know. It's that. I would say please to meet you, but... There's nothing pleasurable about this. I mean, she has a nice color scheme. I'm not biased or anything. Sorry, she didn't mean that, right? You're going to apologize for insulting our revered friend. I am not. I'm leaving, is what I'm doing. You can't go just because you're upset that I was right and you were wrong. I'm not upset, Deme. I'm afraid. And you would be too if you had any sense. These creatures are not to be messed with. Nothing it offers will ever be worth the price you have to pay. I don't know, how much is it? Morgan, wait! No, damn it. I'm sorry, but you're on your own with this one. I draw the line at messing with ancient magic. We didn't even believe in it. Your friend is a coward, and a rude one at that. Yeah, I kind of agree with that, actually. But you were kind enough to bring me a gift. So, what can I do for you in return, my friend? Hey, Morgan, you're not going to believe this. I asked Shirat to make me rich, and it said it can make that happen. Great. So you're on first name terms with a demon now? What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Good for you. So where's all your money, then? Well, I don't have it yet. Of course you don't, because you're a gullible idiot. Why are you being like this? Can't you just be happy for me? As soon as I get that money, I can clear my dad's debt. And maybe we can even get that place like we wanted. Yeah, right. I mean it, Morgan. Did you honestly think I'd forget about us? Money has been our only barrier, right? So what's stopping us now? Nothing. Nothing is exactly what you'll be left with after dealing with that demon, Deme. Didn't your grandpa bother to tell you how dangerous they are? Or did he conveniently leave that part out? You can be as mad at me as you like, but when I'm rich enough for us to have the life we always wanted, you bet I'm never gonna let you live this down. You worry too much. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. <sighs> I sure hope you're right. Terry, don't! It's too dangerous! Just wait for help to arrive! I can't just leave them all in there! 
I have to do something. No, you don't. You won't be helping anyone by running in there and getting yourself killed. Please, just stay with me. Fata! <gasps> Damn it, Rung. Is everything all right? You startled me there. God damn his voice is Ooh. Damn his voice is good. I I think I was dreaming. Well, whatever it was, you're safe now. Here, you should eat something. It'll make you feel better. I can still smell the smoke. What was that? A memory? Morgan? Morgan, listen to me. I know you're probably a little disoriented, but it's vital that you eat your food. Can you do that for me? I don't feel like eating anything. Not when I have the taste of burning ashes in my mouth. I'm not hungry. <sighs> Fine. But you still need to eat. Why? Because I'm your doctor and I said so. That's, That's not, not a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Because I care about you. And I don't want you to get sick. Okay? I thought I was already sick. But why else would I need why else would I need a doctor? What if I make you a deal? If you finish that plate for me, we can go down to the main hall for a dance. A dance? What a strange thing to suggest. Mm. You do remember what dancing is, don't you? I think so. Good. So eat up. And then we can have some fun. Fun, huh? Did I used to enjoy dancing then? I know what dancing is, but no matter how hard I try to recall the feeling of actually doing it, I just can't remember. Staring reluctantly at my plate, I can feel Damarung's eyes, uh... Boring a hole into me waiting. I suppose I should just get. Uh, I, sh I suppose I should just get it over with then. Uh, you only lasted so long if you're hungry. Yeah. I also you picked the hardest character to play. Yeah, I had a feel. I, I had a feeling he would be. Cause he had like no no skills at all. <laughs> I could only use physical attacks and. Yeah. Oh well. Scalping the meal down as quickly as I can manage, I barely registered the look of surprise on the doctor's face. Wow, you must have been really hungry, huh? Can we go now? He's also the worst physical- yeah, I know. Ignoring his question, I press him, wanting to be anywhere but uh, here in this room. <laughs> of course. I'll lead the way. Oh, HP, low attack? Yeah, I'll probably just start a new game the next time I play it. As soon as he takes my hand, uh, the doctor's demeanor changes. His grip, his grip is soft yet firm, and I can't help but find it somehow comforting. How big even is this place? I blurt out my question without restraint as we step into the grand hallway. Curious to know more. Big enough. Taken aback by his bluntness, I scoff a little. But why would anyone need so much space? Don't you ever get lost in here? I used to, but never as much as you. Well, maybe if you told me more about each room, I'd be able to find my way better. With your memory, I highly doubt that. <laughs> I still can't tell if he's kidding around or, he's, or if he's genuinely bitter. If this place is a hospital, where are all the other patients? I never said this was a hospital. Okay, but you're my doctor, right? So where else would we be? <sighs> oh, pausing to take both, uh, both of my hands in his, Damarung looks, uh, looks me up and uh, looks me up and down momentarily before releasing a soft sigh. <sighs> this place is ours, Morgan. What? All of it? You're kidding, right? Nope. Not even for a minute. 
I bought this place for the both of us. It was supposed to be our forever home. Also, they're not pretending like Ramvi caused you problems. Didn't know that could happen. Yeah, like I remember. I don't think it's even my computer's fault because I remember I played the Witch's House MV on my other computer, and then it froze. And then I played it on this computer, and it still froze. And then, like a few days, like yesterday, I played. Um, I played. Um, fuck, was it called? Crater of Ruin, and. It still froze, so I don't, I don't know why. And the stream is lagging. Fuck. Hold on. Why? Why is... Uh, wait, no. OBS is fine. Anyway. Trailing off, he begins looking uh, through me rather than... All right, trailing off, he begins looking through me rather than at me. Our home? Why would a doctor live with his patient? Am I really so ill that I can't survive by myself? It's complicated. And even if I stood here and explained it all, he probably wouldn't remember by tomorrow. Because I'm sick? Something like that. But you're going to cure me, right? Because you're my doctor. That's your job. I think what it is is like the the evil bitch lady. She uh like the the demon. She made his wish his wish come true, but took her took like her ability to remember things. You're more than just a mere patient to me, Morgan. Yes, I will cure you. I swear it. But not because it's my job. Because I care about you. I feel my cheeks flush a little as he pulls out my hand more forcefully this time. Leading me into the grand hall. Gasping in awe, I begin to wonder if... Uh, if, it is, if this entire thing is nothing more than a dream. Everything feels so strange. How would I know the difference between reality and fantasy? Morgan? Hmm? May I have this dance? Bowing dramatically in front of me, Demrung holds out his hand once more. I don't know how many endings there are in this game. Um, that reminds me of Nestor, the one that was in Yandere VN. Nestor? In that Yandere visual novel? Oh, you mean the, 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 yeah, this is from the same, from the same creator, I think, if, if, if I, if I recall, I think this is from the same creator, uh, but this time he actually has a good voice actor, <laughs> uh, you know what, sure, take his hand, now he has a different face, though, what happened, really, damn, yeah, but this time his voice actor is actually good. Anxiously taking his hand, my cheeks flush an even brighter red as he suddenly pulls me in close to his chest, gazing deeply into my eyes. Even now, you're still so beautiful. Oi, don't diss my boy, man. No, I'll diss him all I want. <laughs> the dude's voice made him sound like... Like again, you remember that? You you were there when I when I when I dissed the guy. Before I have the chance to respond, I'm flung away at arm's length. Fingers stretched yet firmly wrapped around each other's. We can't lean back before meeting chest to chest again, just as swiftly. Moving his free arm to my waist. Demrung holds me in a gentle embrace as we sway from side to side beneath the painted ceiling, perfectly in sync with one another. So you do remember how to dance. Seemingly impressed, a soft smile graces his face while we continue to move to an imaginary melody. I have no idea how I'm even doing this. He's clearly taking the lead. But still, it's as though my feet are moving on their own. I've missed this so much. Uh, the doctor skillfully lifts our arms, spinning me 
on my heels over and over until the ceiling becomes a kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope of collars. Twisting and dancing, uh, shrinking and revolting. Just as, I be just as I begin to grow dizzy, I'm gently brought to a stop. My heart pounding my chest from the excitement. Thank you for the dance. In a picture of perfect gentle manliness, Damarung bows deep. Uh, bows deeply once more before raising my hand to his lips. As I feel, as I feel him softly kiss my skin, something stirs deep within me. This man, I love him, and yet I loathe. I. I. I you forgot the e. I loathe him just as much. Just who are you to me, Doctor Damarung? Well, I think that's enough excitement for one night. We should get ourselves to bed. Showing him a weak smile, I nod, still shaken by his kiss. Upon arriving at my room, I began to fear that I won't remember any of this when I wake. When I wake, it's probably fun. won't. Fun. Yeah. Let's hope there will be many more like it to come. For now, though, I need you to rest and recover. I'll see you in the morning, Morgan. Right. Good night, Doctor. I was about something on the suburb about v so that maybe people can come in and help you reach your goal. Hope you don't mind. I don't mind, yeah. <sighs> I need all the help I can get, really. So... That'd be nice. I can't quite tell if he winced at my response as he sh wait. I can't quite tell if he winced at my response as he shuffled out of the room. Maybe I should stop calling him that. So here I am alone again, faced with the possibility of everything from tonight being erased the moment I go to sleep. I hardly feel like laying down. I pretend to get comfortable under the covers, but as soon as Demerung, uh, as soon as Demerung's footsteps fade, I climb back out of bed, staring out the window. Long, uh, staring out the window, longingly at the bright and beautiful moon. I catch a glimpse from the corner of my eye of something glistening as the light grazes it. What do we have here? And fucking stream is lagging. Shit. Uh, yeah. Hold on. No, Discord. Um, not Discord. OBS. OBS is, uh, is having trouble. OBS is having trouble. What the fuck? Uh... Shit. Shit, it seems fine now, I think. But I need to, like... Seems fine? This is why I don't like having full screen... Full screen games. It's, well, that's why I put them in, like, windowed. Because the stream lags like hell when that when they're full screen. Though in this case, I'm not sure if it's the game that's causing this. I don't know what's causing this. The very second my fingers skim the object, something shoots through my body, sending shivers down my spine. This key. I think I know which room it uh, it's for somehow. Something tells me of its importance, of how hard I worked to secure it. How could I have forgotten this? Eager to find out why the key is in my possession in the first place, I leave my room traversing the hallways and corridors with equal measures of anxiety and urges. And go for a bit. I'll be trying feeling hungry again. Also, I think I sent you the uh, wrong sensor mod, but eh. Yeah, it works. The one was supposed to sound was changing stingers into pine cones. Uh, oh yeah, no, I, I, I saw that there was like one that was just a blur and I was like, I, I think I prefer that one. So, I would rather have, like, I would rather have, uh, have just a blur than just straight up, like, changing stuff. I, I think I just, on, log. Eager to find out why the key is in my possession in the first place, I leave my room, traversing the hallways and corridors with equal measures of anxiety. This is the place, I'm sure of it. Carefully... 
uh, pushing the key into the lock, I twist it, and just like that, the lock clicks. I gently push open the door with caution, eyes widening at the mess within. What is all this? They look like various notes of some sort. Research, maybe? Is this Demes? I still can't believe Morgan just walked off and left me alone with that creature. I get that she was scared, but was it really necessary to argue with me like that? I bet she would have done the same thing if it was her family who was in trouble. She's going to be so shocked when I prove her wrong. Sure, the Vod Loiter are dangerous if you mess around or piss them off, but Opa always said they were nothing but good to him. Waiting for something to happen is agonizing, though. I just hope Shadat does make good on its word. If I don't get that money soon, we're going to be in even deeper trouble. Maybe once I've got the money, I can make things up to Morgan, too. Well, it seems as though I was right. Should have known better than to trust a demon, Deme. I should stay and keep reading. Looks like an old diary. Morgan and I took a walk by the river today. It never ceases to amaze me how fast time flies when we're together. That smile of hers is so pure sometimes. I wonder if she might be an angel. I so desperately want to ask her to be mine. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather spend my life with, but I'm so afraid she might reject me. Things are fine as they are, right? So why risk messing it all up? I'm just glad I get to spend time with her at all. Oh, Demi. I should... Thank you, breathing. How many of these are there? A lot, apparently. I started seeing butterflies today. I have yet to determine if they are a mere product of my imagination or a result of the number of rituals I performed recently. Regardless, they seem to just follow me around as I work. I wonder if they're trying to show me something. I should... Thank you, breeding. Oh, what's this? It's so dusty. Oh. I finally made my first mannequin. But is the cost really going to be worth it? Oh. Can I justify taking someone else's life to get back another? I feel sickened by my ability to create such a horrific piece of artistry. And the smell. I don't think I'll ever forget it. I don't know if I have any to lure anyone else here. And yet, if I stop now, their sacrifice will have been for nothing. I still won't have my Morgan back. It appears I have no choice but to complete the remaining steps. Lure people here? But I haven't seen anyone else around. Is Demerung sacrificing people in some sort of messed up ritual to get my memory back? Should I... Thank you, Frida. This. Huh? What's this? Greetings once again, my friend. Enjoying your newfound wealth. Is that supposed to be your idea of a joke? Excuse me? So, my family home burning down out of nowhere had nothing to do with you then? <laughs> Why? I have no idea what you're talking about. I merely gave you my blessing. But, I'm sorry to hear you lost your home. These things happen sometimes. I tend to see it as the world redressing balance. Those who wish for power must also suffer. I lost a lot more than my home, and I think you damn well know that! I see. But you still got what you wanted, didn't you? <laughs> Don't be mad at me. What I wanted was to help my family. How am I supposed to do that when they all burn to death in their beds? 
Listen, I understand completely. Why don't you let me make it up to you with another wish? Hmm? For free, this time. Fine. There's someone. Hmm? Go on. If you're seeking revenge, I can certainly help with that. <laughs> no, I'm not after anything like that. There's someone, a girl, that I care about very much. She's so, so precious to me. I can't lose her too. And before, I wasn't brave enough to ask her. Now it's the only thing I can think about. I want us to be together for all eternity. You're a dumbass. Ah, uh, young love. So delightful and one of my absolute favorites to assist with. Though, if it was that friend of yours who abandoned you, I would personally reconsider. It's not really any of your business, but yes, that was her. And she's the most incredible person I've ever met. You just don't know her like I do. And I have utterly no desire to. But if you wish to be with her, it shall be so. Take her to the church the morning after the next full moon, and propose to her. What? And she'll say yes? Just like that? What's the catch? You're asking for my aid with a love charm, are you not? What else would you expect? If she truly wishes to be your bride, she will answer without hesitation. And if not, well, she'll be unable to resist you regardless. Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. But it'll still be her answering, right? You're not going to make her do anything she doesn't want to? Wait, why do I still have my little face? Get out. I won't be the one making anyone do anything. You're the one asking for my help. And you're the one asking for her to take your hand in marriage. If it's morality on your mind, you need to take a look in the mirror. No one's forcing you to do this, friend. I know that. I just... Yes, yes, you love her. You don't want to lose her, etc. If you humans knew what awaited you in other worlds, you'd spend less time fixating on one or two objects of affection and enjoy yourselves a whole lot more. But of course, you can't see past your pitiful finite lives on this plane. Now, do you want my help or not, human? I do. Good. Then do as I explained and go with my blessing. I tire of your presence. Ah, I see you've brought your blushing bride. I do hope she plans on being more polite this time. She's dead, demon! You lied to me! You said you could help us be together, but your stupid spell failed! Is it just me, or is the art so different? Like... Like, I feel like there was- there's three different artists, and all of them have, like, completely different art styles. <laughs> How dare you come here and insult me like that! My magic never fails! Then how do you explain this, huh? She collapsed right after saying yes! I know this is your doing! Well, I'm very sorry for your loss. I must once again point out the obvious. If she perished after accepting your proposal, did you not get exactly what you asked for, friend? No! I said I wanted us to spend eternity together. I said I didn't want to lose her, and I won't! Please, you have to give me one more chance. You have to bring her back to me! I think you'll find that I don't have to do anything, human. And you'd do well to show me a little gratitude. However, I am not entirely 
unsympathetic to your plight. Then you'll do it? You can revive her? I can, but I must warn you. All magic has a price to pay. And tampering with mortality has the highest price of all. I don't care what the cost is. I just want her back. Very well. Repeat after me. I'll etch your name upon my heart. I'll etch your name upon my heart. So you'll always be my lover. So you'll always be my lover. And if we're ever torn apart... And if we're ever torn apart... I'll restore you with another. I'll restore you with another. What was that? That was you signing a magical contract. You didn't think those words were a mere performance, did you? Your heart is now engraved with her name. Congratulations. The pair of you are forever bonded. Yeah, see, like, the art style is just different with, the, with like, the portraits. Like, earlier was something else entirely. <laughs> are you sure it'll work? <laughs> oh, I'm quite certain. But I'm afraid you'll have some tasks to perform if you want to make your wish a reality. Tasks? What tasks? Listen carefully, human. I'll only say this once. Was all that? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Uh, wait, hold on. I just realized the stream is lagging badly. Oh my god, hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. wait is it still? I. I just told you everything you need to know. I won't repeat myself. You're a clever little human, so I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now take the body and get out of here. Before I change my mind, and eat you instead. Yeah, no, the stream is lagging really badly. Oh my god. Is this game that heavy? Like, what the fuck? There's a past purple hair guy. His voice is sexy, so honestly, smash. <laughs> like, goddamn, his voice. Like I I I'd smash just for that. Not William Afton. Yeah, no, it's this is I I I'm aware. Oh no, but why is the fucking stream lagging so badly? Um if I do uh Maybe like this, but I can't. Ugh, I can't resize the whip. Fuck. I can't resize it. Do I just have to deal with? Um, I'll try to keep it like this. Smash up past girls or boys? Uh, psh. I don't know. Girls. What's that? 
Go! Leave this place and never return! Uh, stay and keep reading. Did I read this already? What's this? Yeah, that's the one I just read, didn't I? Greetings once again, my friend. Enjoying your newfound wealth. Is that supposed to be your idea of a joke? Yeah, I already read all this. You shall have all. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't need to skip anymore. Um, stay and keep reading. Um... I'm not gonna get rejected by a lolly. I don't think. I don't think that was a lolly. Hmm. Looks old. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're dead. No matter how many times I say it out loud, think it, or write it down, it still doesn't seem real. It's all my fault. I should have been there. I should have listened to Morgan. What use is it being rich when the people I wanted to save aren't even here? Vater, Schwester, Opa, I'm so sorry. I failed you all. I still can't work out if the fire was just an accident, or if it's that demon's idea of a sick joke. Yes, I asked it for wealth, but this isn't how I wanted it. But it couldn't have known I'd get so much insurance money, could it? So it must have just been some really messed up coincidence. Maybe I should just confront Shadat. I need to know the truth. The only thing I know for certain right now is I can't lose anyone else. I'm so scared of being left all alone in this world. What if something happens to Morgan? She's all I've got now. I have to make her mine. I have to protect her. I think I'll buy us that manor house that we've always joked about living in as kids. And we can hide away from the world there. This must be the same fire that I dreamt about. So then... Was this... Was this a memory rather than a dream? I should just think of reading. Which one did I just read? This one, right? Let's take a look. Despite managing to create an entire collection of dolls, this is anything but a day of celebration. In fact, I'm left disturbed by how easy it's become for me to ignore their screams, to hollow them out, to harvest their essence, to bathe in their blood. Something so heinous should never be this easy. I fear my soul is so tainted, even hell would reject me now. Morgan shows no improvement in her memory, no matter how much of that mulch I feed her. When she's not acting like a zombie, she's starting to ask questions. I don't want to do what I must tonight, but it seems as though there's no other way but to try and repeat the process more carefully this time. With any luck, her death will be swift and painless. My death? But I'm right here. I would have thought I'd remember dying. This looks too old to be a recent plot to murder me. And what's bathing in blood got to do with anything? None of this makes any sense. I should stay and keep reading. This. Interesting. I'm beginning to lose track of all the bodies now. But never of how many times I've been forced to consume my beloved. Unlike the killing. That part never gets any easier. It's like I can feel her eyes all over me, judging me with each bite of her tender flesh. This time, I could barely hold it inside me without spilling it back out again. The only thing that keeps me going at this point is the thought that one day, I might be able to fix her. That's rough, buddy. Beloved? Is this about me? I can't see any bite marks on my skin. Thank you, breathing. And then this one is the last one, right? Some of the pages are torn. Tonight's the night. Oh. 
the night I finally get you back. As I write this, I hope with all my heart that you will return to me in good health. It took me a while to get the blend of spices just right to disguise what's in your food. So, this uh, sugar and spice and everything, that's nice scenario. I'm glad you at least have that luxury. If Shadat's words are to be taken literally, then before you can make the jump to your new body, I have to consume you completely. I won't lie. I'm afraid. If this doesn't work, I don't know how I'm going to go on knowing what I've done to get to this point. But if it works, I can say without a doubt that it will have been worth it. Again, this this R cell does not look the same as the other. <laughs> For you, Morgan, I would do anything. Disguise? What? Wait, disguise what's in my food? I thought everything was a little over-seasoned. Wait, I thought everything was a little over-seasoned. What exactly has it been feeding me? I should go back to bed. What are you doing in here, Morgan? Shit. I was so engrossed in his writing that I didn't even hear him enter the room. Nothing. Playing in the scent, I pretend as though I just arrived, trying desperately to put one of his books back on the ground without him noticing. Don't lie to me. What did you see? Nothing, I swear. The door was unlocked, so I just wandered in. I know you're lying. I can tell by the look on your face that you already know too much. You're afraid of me. You should never be afraid of me, Morgan. No, I don't know anything. I was just heading back to bed. As I attempt to walk around him, Dameron grabs grabs my wrist. Wrist? Grabs my wrist, squeezing it tightly. Let me go, damn it. Never. I attempt to shake my hand free, but to no avail. I hate to do this, but I can't have you wandering free. Not anymore. Not after this. Okay, so I read some of that stuff, but now I know you did all of this for me. Please, damn it. You're scaring me. This isn't you. You know nothing about me. You can't because you're broken. But I swear, I'm going to fix you. I'll make sure when you look at me, the only expression in your eyes is love. Uh. Seriously, damn it. Why are we here? You know I hate surprises. And besides, I don't think there's even a service. This is a good surprise, I promise. If you say so. Ever since the fire, Demi's been acting really strange. And now this is a- Rota, you are the only reason I rise each morning, and the reason I can still sleep each night. This is yet another art style. No poem, song, or speech could ever be enough to describe the way I feel about you. But believe me when I say this, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and only you. So, will you marry me? Yes! Something compels me to answer, and before I know it, the word escapes my lips. Oh, Morgan! You have no idea how much this means to me. How long I've waited for this. Throwing his arms around me in gratitude, Demi gives me with a soft kiss. I go to return his embrace when, I, when out of nowhere, I feel a tightness in my chest. What is this? Why does everything hurt so much? Demi, I don't feel so good. <laughs> She's, she starts like turning into dust. Morgan! Morgan! Speak to me! Wake up! You can't leave me too. Please, just wake up. Come on, come on, come on. Just wake up already. Eyes fluttering open and closed. I gradually come... Uh, I gradually come too. 
greeted by the sensation of cold steel of cold steel claps around my wrist. My body hanging heavily by chains. Oh, good. By chains. Awake. I was beginning to worry I'd have to eat you again already. I'm not sure I can manage another mouthful right now. E eat me? Tamara? W what's going on? Frightened by the casual tone of voice in contrast with his words, I pull at, uh, I pull at the chains, demanding answers. Oh, don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. It's nothing for you to concern yourself with. Now, let's get you somewhere more comfortable so we can begin. The moment Damarung unlocks my shackles, my body falls forward, slumped over, uh, slumped over his shoulder. I try with all my might to move, to run from him, but my limbs refuse to obey. What have you done to me? What I haven't done would be a better question. I've tried almost everything I can think of at this point to bring you back. My supply of spares is beginning to run dangerously low. But don't worry. I think I finally found the answer. The answer to what? In a startled slur, I tried desperately to get him to speak uh, to get him to speak to me properly, but my question goes unanswered as he lowers my body gently into an ominous looking chair. That wretched creature thinks it's so smart. Oh, its magic might bring you back over and over and over again, but you've never been quite the same. Every now and then I catch glimpses of you in there somewhere, but it's always fractured, never whole. One by one, Damarung secured my wrists and ankles to the device, strapping me down tightly as he pulls on each restraint. It's hiding you from me. I know it is. I just have to figure out how to find you. There's always a catch with that thing. If I'd seen that sooner, maybe we could have avoided all of this. But then, who knows? Perhaps this is better. This way, we'll always be together. No matter what happens, I don't care how many innocents I have to drain, how many dolls I have to devour. We will have our happily ever after, Morgan. I swear it. You're insane. Growling through gritted teeth, I watch on in horror as Zamarung produces a syringe filled with some sort of solution. One by one to uh, play the toy soldiers of Vein Corporation, so I had to do it. I have no idea. I think we already established that a long time ago, Morgan. But only because I can't lose you. Now hold still. This will only sting for a second. Holding the syringe up to the light, Damarung inspects it carefully. Satis uh, satisfied, a syringe smirk slides across his lips, controlling his face. Soon. We'll be together again, my love. You just have to hold on a little longer. Carousel from Cali? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't listen to the word. I didn't, like, listen to the words all that all that much. In that song. I kind of I kinda just, like, glanced at a song for a second and then I forgot what it was about. <laughs> As the needle sinks deep into my flesh, I release a small yelp. And before long, everything starts to fade. No! This can't be right! I changed the dosage! You can't die! Please! Please, Morgan! Don't make me do this! Not again! I... I can't! I can't! Shut up, you fucking piece of shit! I bet you think this is hilarious, don't you? I bet you love to watch, huh? Well, feast your eyes on this, you sick motherfucker! God damn. Oh, shit. 
Why? Why won't you just come back to me? I can't keep doing this, Morgan. So why? Why do you keep forcing me to do this to you? Please. Make it stop. At least you don't hate her? Oh, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I like Ellie. Callie is the true- uh, Callie is the dad I wish I had. Uh, the fucking girl in his voice? Yeah, no, like, that's- that, I, that's what I said, right? His voice actor is actually good, unlike the other game. You shall have all that you desire. But the cost will be much. Hi. Keep her memory in a vessel from human screens. Gather more souls and sacrifice only death than pay the price. And empty their veins of crimson essence. Bathe in their blood to save your penance. Harvest the evil for keep it fresh. Serve it up and feed her flesh. Burn the rest and ashes in hell. Only then can her soul prevail. When one form fades, haste the devour. Wait. Until the witching hour. Close your eyes and count to ten. From darkness she will rise again. The vibe and me never the same. Forever tethered by her name. Okay, uh, imagine... They're ha uh, they're having the same enemy. You're just insulting the same guy. <laughs> you're complimenting. Yeah, the, I I don't think it is. Hold on. Uh, well, I think the voice actor of the other game it was uh, what Kevin something. Hold on. Let me let me see. Uh. Dawn of the damn. That that's a song. Wow. That's an album. Uh. Oh, let me see. The team. Damn it on. Yeah, Jerem Bacat. Okay, I don't think that's the same guy. I also probably butchered his name badly, but eh, it's fine. Waking from what feels like a living nightmare, I rub my eyes as I realize I'm dressed in all white. And also, no, like, I don't think... <laughs> their, their voices were completely different. What is this? It's finally time, Morgan. You couldn't even change? Like, motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh, wait. You know what's funny? It doesn't look like his clothes are stained. It looks like the blood is just a filter put on. <laughs> like, it's just a filter. Like, it was photoshopped on there. <laughs> like, that does not look like his clothes are stained. He looks like he's just behind, like... Like, something that's bloody. And that's see-through. Time for what? I'm not even sure what I want to a I'm not even sure I want the answer to that question. For the two of us to become one. You said yes once before. Albeit many moons ago. You tried to take you from me on that day. But now, nothing can tear us apart. We are eternal, Morgan. So let's spend that beautiful and agonizing eternity together. It does look photoshopped, yeah. <laughs> and this is yet again a different art style, but yeah, at this point, I don't know what I'm expecting. Taking one knee, Damarong holds out a ring towards me, a twisted smile of sincerity on his face. I are me, Morgan Rota. Ich will nur dich, immer nur dich ansehen. Du lässt die Welt um mich verblassen. 
I want only you. This man, this monster, clearly loves me with every inch of his being. Do I feel the same? Um... I mean, his voice do be hot. But... You know the term, don't put your dick in crazy? I think right now it should be, don't let the crazy dick be put in you. Um... Screw it. Get up, doctor. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth it. If he were any other man, I'm sure he would have been he would have long forgotten about his beloved and moved on to somebody else. But not Dr. Dameron. Only now can I see him for what he is. Of all the horrors he's inflicted upon others, upon me, he did it all out he did it all out of love. I pity him, but I'm not her. I'm not the girl he wants me to be. I'm not his Morgenot. I'm not even sure who I am. Morgan, have you lost your mind? Quite possibly. But I have enough clarity to know that I would never want to spend my life with someone like you. God damn. You don't mean that. We're supposed to be in love. Maybe we were once, but not anymore. Now, all I have for you is hate. God damn. I know what you've done, Doctor. And believe me when I say I can never forgive you for any of it. No, 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 no. This is all wrong. You were supposed to say yes. We were supposed to be happy. Why are you doing this to us, Morgan? Don't you love me? See, like, his voice works a lot better in this scenario, because, like, he just sounds desperate, while the other guy in the other Yonder game, he sounded like just a whiny brat, you know? No, and you don't love me either. If you did, you would have let me go a long time ago, instead of clinging to all those corpses you created to take my place. <laughs> Quiet! You're not my Morgan! I don't want to hear another word from you, demon! I'll build her back again and again until I find her. And when I do, I'll bring her back to your disgusting forest and burn it down with her by my side! Wait, is that it? You can't just end, end it like that. What happened to them? As far as I'm aware, nobody knows. What I do know, is that I'm tired. So, so tired of all this. That's quite enough storytelling for now, don't you think? Are you ready, my love? Wait, what the fuck is going on here? You know I never am. Isn't it time we stopped all of this madness? Don't you want a new body? It's been so long. I promise, this one's perfect, like it used to be. I... I, I had a feeling this would happen. I, I In my head, I kind of called it earlier. <laughs> I swear it! You know I only did what I did last time to teach you a lesson. Why can't you just let me go? Because I love you. You don't love me, Dene. You never have. You love the ghost of a girl who's long gone because she couldn't stand the sight of you for another second. How can you say that after everything we've been through? I know exactly how she felt. I can't stand you either. You disgust me. And perhaps this time, I'll take away more than just your sight. You can't. I like how there's just this random guy has nothing to do with this. He's just looking at this like, ah, uh, like, ah, uh, don't like me. <laughs> Sneak You're my bride. What? You belong to me, and I'll do as I please. If you're not careful, I'll keep you crippled in the corner like that husk. 
Until you learn to appreciate the gift we share together. Is that what you want? Shall I put you behind glass and let customers gawk as though you're nothing more than another artifact in this wretched collection? Or perhaps I should advertise you for sale. You wouldn't dare. My question is, how is he still alive? Is he like, is he actually a vampire? Is that why he's dressed like one? <laughs> I, I bet some people would pay a pretty price for such a beautiful lifelike doll. Do you think they would be as good to you as I have? Do you think they would take good care of you? Or would they use you until you're no use to anyone? Then what would happen? Hmm? I, I like how there's just there's been two options that just appeared and I and they disappeared before I even had the time to process what was <laughs> what was appearing on the screen. Sure. You can't die. Not truly. You'd be forced to wither away in silence. Only to be stuck inside an ugly shell upon your demise. You need me just as much as I need you. Like it or not, we're bound to each other. So why bother protesting? Wait a goddamn minute. Okay, now. I... Like, the option appeared and like, I... I just i could not even move my hand like you should have seen it i i don't think i want to work here anymore well that's too bad because we're in dire need of your services i overheard morgan telling you our little tale though i'm sure she exaggerated a little here and there but that's besides the point she did you understand why you're here don't you you know what has to be done uh, do I do? Please, I can be useful some other way. I'm afraid you really can't be. The role you're about to perform is of utmost importance. If it makes you feel any better, think of it as a donation. Your essence will serve to fuel a being far greater than you could ever be. You should be grateful to become part of something so divine. Oh, am I a sacrifice? Is that what's happening? I promise, it won't hurt as much if you hold still. Now, now, my dear. Don't you worry yourself with this part. I'll handle it as I always do. We wouldn't want any of that precious essence to go to waste. Shall I run the bath for you? Please, but don't push yourself. I'll take this one's organs afterwards and deal with the body. You just make sure to get comfortable for the transfer. Very well. And... Deme? Hmm? What is it, my love? I hope you choke on my corpse this time. <laughs> uh, cool. I don't care about the credits, can I? I want to, like... I, 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 I don't really... Close the game. I <laughs> this stream has been suffering. Oh, what's this? It's the title screen. Okay, I can. Oh, I don't know if there's multiple endings. And honestly, after <laughs> after the hit, this, after just how much the stream was stuttering, I don't think I care to find out. <laughs> 